MAGA fans are spreading a new conspiracy theory that eating the Impossible Burger will turn you into a girl. I, look, I don't even know what to say about it. <laughs> Uh, but okay, let's continue. So now there's uh, this conspiracy uh, that has been making the rounds on right wing media. Uh, and it actually started because of an article written by a man named James uh, Stangle. Uh, so now James Stangle is a veterinarian, uh, veterinarian uh, in South Dakota. And he had written this article uh, and had it printed in the tri state livestock news. I know we're going like real uh, super sophisticated big news outlets here, right? Uh, so now. I'll know that since it's the the tribe state livestock news, that they're not exactly going to be in favor of plant based meat substitutes, since of course they're supposed to cover livestock related news. But anyway, okay, so let, let's get to an excerpt here uh, that is relevant to this. Now Stengel wrote, "Quote: An impossible whopper has 18 million times as much estrogen." As a regular Whopper. So, of course, he's trying to say that as soon as you bite into one, your, your penis is going to fall off and you're going to grow a pair of boobs. Uh, that's literally what they're saying. Um, boobs, right? Oh, you're going to get you're going to get man boobs uh, from it. Well, actually, no, you're going to turn into a woman and grow breasts. I, I, this is the insanity, right? And by the way, the Tri-State Livestock News was like, yeah, oh, oh yeah. Oh, well, don't definitely print your article, man. Yeah, this is super, super scientific. Oh, so now there is science involved here, but of course they get the science wrong uh, naturally. So now the Impossible Burger uh, is made partly of soy, right? Now, soy contains high concentrations of something called an isoflavone. Uh, now, isoflavones belong to a uh, class of compounds known as a phytoestrogen. Oh, it's got estrogen in the name. Uh, it must be. And it must be if you bite into it, you turn into a girl. I mean, slowly, of course. I mean, it doesn't happen overnight, but, you know, you eat enough, you're going to be a girl. Uh, <laughs> ridiculous, right? Now, the science does say that phytoestrogens are similar in function to human estrogen, but has much, much weaker effects, according to the Washington Post. So now, uh, I mean, look, uh, these guys are saying, well, well, it has an effect, right? No, no. According to scientists, it does not have an effect. New York University nutrition professor Marion Nestle uh, or Nestle told the publication that and he got a great uh, she had a great example of that. May, Asian men and boys have been eating large amounts of soy for centuries. And as a result, they also have not grown breasts. So, I mean, sad, I guess if you do want them, you're going to have to get them the old fashioned way and get some implants. Sorry, sorry to say. Um, but look, here's the funny thing, right? If you eat nothing but Whoppers every day, you're going to grow some things, right? Uh, whether it be the Impossible Whopper or the regular Whopper, you're going to grow some things if you eat this stuff every single day. Uh Yes, part of that might be man boobs, uh, but it won't be from the estrogen. All right. So let's let's be honest about this. Right uh, now. This uh, uh, Mary Nestle also added, quote, any guy who micro breasts in response to eating a large amounts of soy could just have an extremely rare sensitivity to phytoestrogens. So there's that. Right. So it, look, it literally has very little effect on the normal human body. Right now, that, of course, has not stopped morons from repeating Stengel's lie, uh, which I pointed out, again, is in the interest of protecting uh, big agriculture companies who raise livestock. So naturally, this is going to be about money. Uh, but these idiots, again, they'll believe anything because they're idiots. Conservative news outlets caught on to this. Uh, National File and Michael Savage uh, have republished articles repeating this as a fact. Uh, and you also have right-wing Twitter accounts that are spreading this in the echo chamber. Uh, accounts like Alpha Omega Energy. Oh, this already sounds good, right? Uh, oh, man, verified. It's actually not a verified account, but it uh, <clears throat> should be. It should be because they're spreading some real science here. Um, dudes, they say, do you want to go breasts? Eat 
East the Impossible Burger, it has enough estrogen to make you grow those trans looking uh, you always want it. Uh oh, boy, it sucks you can't short private companies, isn't it? Flush, you can hear the value toilet flushing. Hashtag frogs gay. So you know, this guy makes, uh, man, he makes so much sense right now. Like hashtag frogs gays. Um, no, you notice how they, of course, they can't help themselves, but add in transphobia. <laughs> Leonard Roxon, another example, said, sure, let's turn our boys into girls fast. What a great agenda. Social engineering is not enough, apparently, these days. So let's do it with the food that we eat. Uh, okay. Now, World Net Daily, by the way. Oh, no, in 2006, by the way. Uh, James Rutz, founder of Mega Shift Ministries and religion columnist for World Net Daily, uh, wrote that soy, quote, commonly leads to a decrease in the size of the penis, sexual confusion, and homosexuality. Which, of course, is bonkers. Do you really believe that? Now, look, now I get it, right? Now I get it. This is why uh, right-wingers are like, oh, soy boy, your soy latte. What? That doesn't make any sense, right? Uh, but they're basing it on this. And they're saying, oh, the soy is feminizing you. Absolutely ridiculous. <laughs> literal fake news like there's some sort of insidious agenda no no uh, look the reason that more beef products are, are or you know meat products are being replaced with soy is because that's the only thing that they can really kind of that they found that can simulate the, the texture of beef right uh i know i've had one of those burgers no my penis did not fall off and no i do not have boobies so you can that, that's obvious obvious so, no, it's ridiculous. Uh, look, the thing is, is for people to have an option. I know you guys love choice and you're supposed to love choice and options, right? So there's an option for people to go with a meatless burger. Uh, for example, if they're a vegan uh, or, you know, or if you can't eat meat for a certain, you know, for certain reasons, or uh, maybe you choose not to because you're concerned with animal cruelty or you're concerned with factory farming or, Something like that. Or, or even climate change. Uh, raising cattle is a huge contributor to climate change. Uh, and so some people are like, oh, well, you know, I would rather go with some sort of meat substitute and the Impossible Burger. And, you know, even with its large concentrations of phytoestrogens are actually pretty safe to eat uh, at this point. So uh, and look, what they're doing, what they're uh, citing is not real science. In fact, real scientists or real science done by real scientists and not hack veterinarians say there is no evidence that the ingestion of phytoestrogens leads you to become more feminine. It is absolutely preposterous. And if you believe it, you're an idiot. Hey guys, hopefully you enjoyed that free video. Now I'm going to have to ask you a favor. Between the uh, demonetization and the YouTube algorithm messing around with view counts, etc., we're having a hard time adjusting to the new YouTube reality, which is where you guys come in. See, we have a Patreon, patreon.com slash TYTNation set up to help us rely on the, you guys, the viewers, instead of big corporate ads. Look, you know the show. You know how I'm not in favor of big corporations anyway. So help us transition away from relying on the ad model to pay the bills and sign up to be a patron, patreon.com slash TYT Nation. That goes a long way to help us keep the lights on. And you guys will know that you're supporting independent progressive media.